Okay, that's a good start. That still leaves us with one mannequin or cake. I really hope they're both in there because that was the last, last idea I had. Lamp, are you out of your damn mind? Your owner's crazy. What's up guys and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Now before we begin with today's episode, I wanted to warn you guys that this game is super broken. And I know that really comes as no surprise to most people, but in Beta 3 it's really deceptive. I would have never known if you guys didn't tell me in the comments. There are a bunch of really important items that you need to complete the game that sometimes just don't appear. Mannequins, pieces of cake, certain keys. I've played an entire save file that didn't have a green key in it. They just don't appear. I've played through the game four times now. Not the whole game, but I've restarted and gotten back to the point that I was last episode four times. And every time, something crucial to completing the game didn't spawn. So if you don't know what you're doing and what you're looking for, it's really easy to think that you just don't really understand the puzzle, whereas you're actually missing a whole bunch of pieces to it. So I wanted to give you guys a heads up because it's a ton of frustration if you get caught in that weird mental loop. But for today's episode, we're hopefully going to get into all the mini games. I think that uh, I got the green key. I have a pretty good idea how to get the red key. So hopefully if we can get all of those done and we get all the abilities, we should be able to get into the basement. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that this episode. There's so much to this beta. Like, it could easily be another, damn it, another 45 minutes of playing or so. What is your problem, dude? I'm just trying to break into your house. Oh, and another very important thing. Don't keep items in your house because they'll disappear as well. You should probably keep them out on your lawn. I learned that the hard way through another 40 minute playthrough of a save file. But I think right now I want to go for underneath the stairs, all right? It doesn't really matter what the neighbor's problem is. No, screw you neighbor. I don't care if you're chasing me because I'm just gonna run, right? I don't need your permission. I'm just gonna sprint and jump and hardcore parkour. There we go. So this is your darkness, I would assume. Right, we're underneath the stairs. Oh no, it's Fear School. Okay, Fear School looks uh, ah, different. What they chatter now? Oh wait, 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 wait. The bell rings. Doesn't that mean I get to go? Am I missing something? Ah, uh, uh, no, no, nope. Something seems odd. The way it used to work is you hide, and when you hear the bell, it's safe for you to move. Okay, no, it still works that way. I must have screwed up. All right, so now we're gonna hear another bell, and then they go. All right, so it's pretty much the same. Looks a little bit different. The whole chattering is terrifying. I wonder if we can see the dark boy somewhere. He's usually around. Okay, go, 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 go. No time to waste. Uh, it's it's too dark to look. I don't think I care all that much. Shattering. We're good. We're good. I still love the whole concept of these fear games because it plays into the whole theory that I've had that we're the neighbor's son and that all of these games are like, I don't know really how to say it. They're like flashbacks. They're trauma. So you were in a supermarket and something bad happened, you were bullied in school, you were locked in a closet, that kind of thing. It's all the twisted perspective of a child, which is terrifying, to say the least. Okay, we should be good. I think this is the final run. I'm, I'm not going for those. We're just going to sprint, right? Yeah, we're, we're just going to sprint. Uh, hello? There you are. Hi, teacher. Ooh, you're a tall one, aren't you? You still gonna lay hands on me? Oh, that's right, I get an ability. So my ability is gonna be, screw you. Yeah, there you go. That was a different voice. Weird, 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 weird. Okay, well, uh, that's done. Green key, hang out there with green lock. And then uh, I should be able to move this. And that'll let me outside. Okay, good. One mini game down, the, the easiest of all of them. I really hope they fixed Fear Darkness. That is such a pain in the ass to climb up. Next up, we have everybody's favorite, Fear Supermarket. And I have quickly checked this one out because it didn't used to make any sense. But the developers have updated it. They even said in the blog recently that, like, 
it was their fault. It wasn't made very well. Nobody beat it fairly. Nobody had any idea what they were supposed to do. Apparently, you're supposed to stand still and not move your mouse, and then they wouldn't see you. But even if they don't see you, they would sometimes run into you by accident, and that made everybody really confused, and nobody knew how to get through the checkout properly. Now, if we crouch, we're invisible. They will go away, they'll ignore us completely. If we die, the shopping cart won't go all the way back to the beginning, which is great. And the items that we need are the items that are in their carts. So we need to observe them and get the proper items. So that guy down there, he's got uh, he's got a pink thing. Okay, so we're gonna need a pink thing, right? I think there's a bunch of stuff over here that I can get. I, I have a pretty good idea, yeah. Okay, we need one of these. And uh, we need some orange juice, new. No. Chattering man, it's freaking me out. Okay, we got orange juice. Uh, I think we need a bag of crisps. Hopefully, maybe. Okay, you go. No, ah, that's the other thing is that the shopping carts aren't exactly great in design either. So you go in, you go in. There we go. Okay, we got three. I think all I need now is uh, pickles, right? Pickles and Gatorade, and then we should be good to go. And I can't push it while crouching. People are going to say that as soon as you move, uh, they see you and it doesn't let you push it. So they already worked around that. Don't even worry about it. Okay, here we go. These are the last two things we need. I think that's the five. Pretty short. Nope. See that? He's like, nope, I'm not that interested. Oh my god. Nope. Freaking. No, no, no. Okay. Hey, hey, rude. Oh, right. They. What? What's happening right now? I was inside my cart. They'll steal stuff from your cart, apparently. So that's kind of rude. I just need to be very careful not to... Oh my god, this is impossible. Okay, you know what? Why don't we just carry our things? That's probably a lot easier. Nope. Stop it. God, these guys are aggravating. I am so freaking close. They're getting really aggressive right now. Like, they just run at me every time I get up. But because I'm so close to the end, I think I'm almost there. Is the guy still in the rafters? Yeah, I think he's over there. Ooh. No, no, no. No time to look. We're, we're too close to finishing this. Uh, need to put all the proper things in the cart first. Listen, dude, can you just, just not? Okay, so that goes in. And then that goes in. That went through. That disappeared. Please, please tell me that didn't actually disappear. I should be good, right? Are we good? Ooh, what? No, my wand! I, I had that! No matter how much they fix this stupid game, it's still gonna be broken crap! I'm thinking it might have bugged out because I tried to put the items in the cart when I was on the wooden platform. So there, I have a full cart, I have everything I need, and I'm just gonna push it on up. There we go, there we go. Ooh, yes, yes, yes! Got there the first time I have ever actually beaten this properly. I didn't have to hardcore parkour my way over. Oh, thank God. Yeah, there's the weird shadow boy. I swear he's getting taller every time I see him. Okay, either way, yeah, I hear chattering. I don't know if they can get over here, so we're done. Now, I should have that invisibility, I think. Right? Now I can be invisible to the neighbor. Oh, that's so sweet. So if he does catch me, I can throw him off and he shouldn't be able to catch me because I can go invisible. Now we just need to get the red key and that is where the game has really just judas me into oblivion. We saw this room last time and I thought, what a cool easter egg, but apparently it's actually a very complex puzzle that you have to beat if you want to finish the game and this is the puzzle that screwed me over so many times and you have to do it it's not optional because you have to solve it to open the puzzle on the ceiling so that you can get the gun the gun will help you get the red key the red key will get you in the next mini game to get you the ability to get into the basement to finish the game and apparently you need to get four pieces of cake and four mannequins but if the cake or the mannequins don't spawn then screw you you better restart Looks like you start with one piece of cake and no party goers. So now I need to run around and find mannequins and cake. I think I know where they are or where they should be because I've checked every room in this house except for a few. So the easiest one I would imagine would be up here. Uh, one of these windows. Yeah, you. 
So let's see if we can get you down. Oh, I forgot to show this to you guys. So if you beat the shopping mini game, there's actually a room behind it that you can't access very easily otherwise. And then in here, this is the light puzzle that we did not figure out last time because I was just lucky enough to have all of the switches pushed one way but it's completely random. So you have these stupid apple shooting machines here and all of these switches and you need them all pushed one way so that the lights all turn off so you can get the globe and stuff like that. Normally you would just bring the green gramophone in here and grow the plants up so that uh, then you can push the switches and they won't get screwed over as you go down to the lights. So that was a kind of cool puzzle. I just kind of, oh, there's cake in here. I, the things you say with this game, should I take the plate? I'm gonna take the plate as well. Okay, one cake down. I'm happy I decided to show this to you guys. But yeah, that's how you would normally solve that puzzle if you're stuck or like me, you can just wait. And I thought it had something to do with the way I was looking. Like it was actually very well synced up to my like moving and looking. If I stood still and looked a certain way, all of the lights just happened to light up and uh, managed to grab myself the globe. I mean, you guys saw last episode. So now we have one piece of cake. Eh. Good. Okay, we, we didn't need the plate, so I'm just going to put the plate in the corner, just in case we need an extra plate. Now, uh, that mannequin. Please don't bump into him and send him into the stratosphere. That's the woo. Gotcha. Okay. We're good. We're going back down here. You will be safe in the party room, right? So I'm just going to... Boop. There we go. One piece of cake, one guest. Three and three to go. Pretty sure there's also a mannequin. Yeah, at the end of this puzzle. Okay, so I can try to, ooh, okay. Tr the train kind of screwed me there. Um, I think I want to just get on the track. That's probably easier right there. And then if I just do this, aha, all right. We're, we're good, we're good. I should get the wrench again because I restarted, like I said. I still have no idea what the wrench is for. I. I'm not even sure you actually need it. You might not actually need it. It might be to the point where you need to throw the wrench in the gears on the roof, because throwing a wrench into the works is the saying. Right now you can throw anything in there. I don't know if the wrench serves any purpose in the actual game and the state it's in, but uh, got another mannequin. So let's just see if we can, I'm gonna put this over here with the important stuff. How about that? Just put you down right there. Please don't all disappear. Party goer number two is present. Okay. Now, where else would there be mannequins? Uh, neighbor? What are you doing on the roof? That's, oh, okay, yeah, oh, that's gonna hurt ya. All right, well, uh, I don't wanna miss my train, so nuts to you. As soon as this train, yeah, here it comes. Okay, if I can make this jump once again, we can get on top of your roof. Yeah, ooh, nailed it. This is so much easier than stopping here. People were telling me, you know, you can stop it if you want, but then I have to climb up on it and do a, a whole bunch of really awkward jumps. Just making that one jump is way easier. Why did these all grow back? What, when does, oh my God, okay. Gotta go get the gramophone. Wouldn't be a Hello Neighbor game if he wasn't spazzing out and in your way all the time. Careful, careful. Uh -huh, I'm getting better at that. <laughs> Not missing them nearly as frequently now. Okay, so terrifying music for the plants should be a go. All right, so you're you're good. Whoa, they just like what? Did they did they update the game or is this a bug? I feel like this is another bug because I did shrink them which is why I was so confused as to why they were big again. And now they're just kind of getting erased. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Sure, why not? Just assume it's a bug, they usually are. If there's not a mannequin up here, I'm gonna be real pissed. <laughs> so pissed. Oh, thank God you're up here. Okay, you're invited to the party. And then I think there's, yeah. Also the golden apple seed. I don't know what the golden apple is for anymore, but we can hold on to it for now and then uh, just Mary Poppins our way back down to the party. Party guest number three is a go. Okay guys, I know we're a little short on cake. I'm working on it. So we need two cakes, 
one mannequin. Um, where else was there a mannequin? Oh, I can't remember. Okay, well, we're, I'm just gonna have to do some looking around. Like, it doesn't matter to you guys, because I'm just gonna cut to when I find something. But to me, it means time to roam around this house for an hour or so. That is one room that I haven't checked out yet, and I'm pretty sure there's either a mannequin or a cake inside. I can definitely get in there as well. I just need to uh, actually hit it with something to break the window. There we go. Okay. Now, if I get on the roof, I'm hoping I can parasol over to it. Oh, I'm going to miss my train. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. We're good. I'm... Yeah, I'm probably going to get on the roof first and then parasol down. I think it's a little bit awkward trying to make that jump from just there. Maybe from over here on this pipe? Yeah? Yeah, we can totally make that. Okay, you can land on this. Good to know. That's probably how you get over there now as well. So, please let there be something in here. Please, please. Oh, cake! Okay. I'll take cake. Is that it? Weird little room. All right. Yeah, this is a sign that I've wondered about. It's like there were four children and one fell. One was abandoned, one something. Which is interesting because there's four party goers. Hmm. Woo. What? How? Screw it. Okay, either way, we're going to go put the cake in. And then we just need one mannequin, one cake. So one of the big things that I did when I was wasting a whole lot of time trying to figure out this game was roam around the outside of the house and just try to visualize where every window went. That's how I figured out that there might be something in there. There might be something in there, but I don't know how I can reach it. Like, I can't parasol down into it because all of the windows are closed, so I guess we're just gonna... What? How did I flick that so hard? Hold on a second, did you see that? Uh, no. I'm really confused right now. What? Ooh. Wait a m I got the hiding ability from one minigame. What did I get from the other minigame? I'm already lost. No, 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 wait, I'm not crazy. Fear Supermarket gave us the hiding ability, and then Fear School gave us the ability to smash on space and get the neighbor away from us. So when did I get a crazy throwing ability? Either way, if I make my way back up to the roof for a third time, we can get in that gigantic room, and maybe there's a cake or mannequin waiting for us in there. Okay, that's a good start. That still leaves us with one mannequin or cake. I really hope they're both in there because that was the last, last idea I had. Lamp, are you out of your damn mind? Your owner's crazy. Okay, there we go. So now I think it's, yeah, it's this entire room and it's absolutely gigantic. Could I have gone in those windows? I never thought, I haven't been up here looking around. That would have been a good idea. I wonder if those windows, when we get inside, I'll look around as well. But this room should be gigantic because it's the entire roof, right? Everything below me, I would imagine. So, assuming that it is right over here somewhere, is this going to make me slip and fall? Probably. Pro probably. No. No, okay. All right. Uh... Below me here somewhere. Oh, crap. This is... Yeah, it's literally... The window's right below me. I don't think I'm going to be able to duck into it. I should probably jump off the top and parasol around. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Come on, parasol. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nailed it. What the... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you come with me. Um... I don't think I really want anything to do with that right now. Because if that brings me, like, outside to the weird little blocks again, or whatever, doesn't really tell me all that much, but I might lose my mannequin, or I might come back and find that everything here has been erased. So, you know what? Thank you very much. Uh, you don't have a piece of cake over there, do you? Crap. All right. Everybody's still here. Good, good. Waiting patiently. Uh, party goer number four. Stop being a silly, Billy. I need you to just... 
just hang out. I'm afraid you're gonna glitch and like... Okay, you know what? You're not much of a stander. I see how it is. Uh, ooh, ooh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop you. No, don't touch the cake. Don't make stuff disappear. Okay, you know what? You're probably good like that. I'm just gonna get your chair back up. There we go. One piece of cake is all you need. How difficult could it be? This is such a complex puzzle. Okay, let's go find a piece of cake. Where? How much are you willing to bet that it's behind the day-night door? It has to be, right? It's the only place in the house that I haven't looked yet. And sadly, it's not nighttime, so I'm gonna have to take a nosedive. And then hopefully night? Night. Okay. So it's pretty freaking easy to get back there, I hope. And then, oh, I need something to prop it open with. People have been complaining that uh, it doesn't stay open after you've opened it. And I'm like, yeah, of course, because this game does that a lot. You need to bring something like a chair. And then if you put a chair in the door, the game won't close it on you for some reason. I don't think it's supposed to work that way, but it's always worked that way for me. And I, I, again, I think it's a bug, but... You don't want to crawl up the neighbor's ass. Please just open, okay, there we go, one step down, and then behind sun door we have... Yes, cake! All right, door, it doesn't get any more daytime out than it is right now, so please just give me my cake. My entire party is waiting. There we go. I even said in the last episode, I was curious what could be back here, because it used to be a bunch of Easter eggs, now there's actually puzzle pieces. Doesn't seem to be too much else going on. Oh. This is the puzzle with the painting, right? We we had to reproduce the, um, the painting over here. The photo, I guess. Okay, so that's over there. Interesting. So what's behind... Oh, this was full of water. That's where I got the light bulb. Okay. And behind you is a dead bear. Didn't expect that. Hello. Oh! I was wondering where the guitar was. So, I guess in the future you actually will need to get the guitar to finish that... ...puzzle? Uh, right now it seems to be broken. Go figure. But, uh, that's good to know for the final game, I guess. Oh, why can't I walk through this? Oh, hey, neighbor. Yeah, have fun running on your train tracks. I'm just gonna go finish off my mannequin birthday party. I'm not crazy for breaking in your house and doing that. You're the crazy one. Here is your cake. And we did it! Oh my god, after four save files, after an hour of trying to figure this out, I got a gun. Screw you guys. Screw, screw all you guys. So, my, my fingers through the gun. That, uh, working as intended. And now, all of a sudden, the no gun room makes a whole lot more... sense. Wait, what? But I- Oh, you tit. Are you kidding me? I need to get in there. But I can't with the gun. Okay, hold on. So, if I don't have the gun and I come in, that's fine. I need to go put it in the machine. And then I can pull down on this, right? And then it'll spit out... Whatever, yeah, I used a coffee mug to screw it over last time. Okay, so we need to take our very precious gun and go put it in the machine and hope that it spits it back out. And if it doesn't, so help me God. Now I can walk through the gate, no problem. And now I can pull this thingy and it gives me my gun back, yes. Okay, so we're in. Now, I think what I'm supposed to do is shoot stuff. Right? Because we need this to open up, so we can pull the lever to uh, get the key. Oh, don't tell me you can come up here. Where is he? What? I'm trying to figure stuff out. Not now. Red key. Locked away. Need to get it by pulling the switch. Need to pull the switch by hitting stuff. Right? I think it has to do with these. I've seen these... What? Why are you... You glow green. Oh, you all... Oh, some of you glow green. 
but not quite. Oh, okay, it's like a little gun game. So I just need to do it fast enough or in the right order, I guess? They're all green! No! What? I just, I just had them all green. So it's not a matter of getting them all green or not. It's some kind of... Puzzle? Some kind of... Oh. Wait, what? That's not... Oh! Uh... I'm now trapped in here. Oh, I did get it right! Yeah! Oh, I was gonna say. There was multiple times. Neighbor, will you just stop doing that? God, it's so freaking annoying. So now I can hit the button. And what did that do? It didn't do anything. What? I still can't get the key. No. What do you... Oh. I bet you it switches around. See, now that door is open. So if I go around and press that button again, then I can get in here again. Oh, I don't get it. I think I have it figured out, but not only will the neighbor not get off my nuts, but I don't have enough time to do it right now. So you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Hello Neighbor, guys. I wouldn't mind saving this puzzle and then the last mini game and the basement for a final video. I feel like that'll all kind of sum up beta three nicely. This has been a way more complicated beta, and I feel like the bugs are better and worse like they're not getting you stuck inside of stuff or having the neighbor fly through walls to kill you and stuff like that but when you're trying to build a puzzle and you don't know what the pieces are if a piece is missing that's game breaking that's infuriating so it's why i wanted to make this video especially as detailed as possible so i can show you guys everything so anybody who's having trouble with it at least now you'll know okay i'm missing a mannequin i'm missing a piece of cake i can't finish the game so hopefully this was helpful to somebody. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. GG!